Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. So today I got a little bit of a mail call. Quite some time ago, I received some packages I was waiting on. One of the things I ordered myself, but the other was from one of you guys, a subscriber. I didn't really have time to do a video at the time, but now I do. So let's head over and see what we got. So the first thing I got was something I actually ordered. It's this Dwyer Instruments uh, digital pressure gauge. It's ranges from uh, zero to 100 PSI, and this model is a DPGA08 digital pressure gauge. Uh, the uh, it is actually made in America, and it's made by Dwyer Instruments in uh, Michigan City, Indiana. So. It, it, this thing is pretty awesome. I was looking for a uh, oil pressure gauge. I actually don't have one. So uh, this thing actually uh, can change uh, different uh, units of measure. You have different units of measure and completely digital. You can zero it out. Turn it off, turn it on. See if we can get back to pressure here or PSI. There we go. So there we have it. Zero that out. And that's a. I actually wanted to find myself a uh, American-made digital pressure gauge. It's actually pretty cheaply made. It takes a nine-volt battery, but. Uh, it's, it's, I was surprised to find out it was in fact made in America, but that's it for that thing. Now the next three items are a set of items sent to me by a subscriber by the name of Blind Bat G34. So thanks, bud. Thanks for sending these over, and I'm going to go over each of these. So the first thing he sent was a pair of Snap-on AWP45. Uh, about four inch pliers the reason he sent me uh, these three over is because I, I guess after watching one of my videos he was looking for a uh, a pretty good everyday carry plier one of those pliers that you know you can just stow in your pocket and have on you all the time well these are all the fallen soldiers this pair of pliers is actually made by snap-on and this is a uh, tongue and groove style plier with it. It's only got three, I think layers or three positions here. And as you can see, it's a little difficult to get it in that top position, but the coating on Snap-on pliers is magnificent. You don't usually have to worry about rusting or anything or coating chipping off because it's kind of like a metal treatment process. It's like parkerizing or something they do to these pliers. And it's like a gun metal, gray uh, metallic finish they got going to them it doesn't really look like even the polished areas you can tell you can see the grind marks but you can tell that it's not like a bare metal there was a metallurgy process applied to this and that's what makes them look like that but they have this uh this pretty large bolt this is the one thing i don't like about these is this bolt sticking so far out the side of this thing what's that like a quarter inch you got additionally to the uh, end of the plier here and it's a little bit a little bit gaudy but the grips are snap on snap on's grips are usually pretty fancy yeah i like the grips they are like a simmer semi texturized grip type of deal so that is pretty much that i like their pliers they're just uh, uh they're just a little clunky i don't really prefer uh tongue and groove pliers they're just a little clunky they the but the the entire plier is that uh same process has been done to the entire plier so even the teeth are going to have that same finish as the surface of the plier so the next thing is this pair of Knipex cobra uh it's going to be uh 8701125 uh about five inch uh five inch i think adjustable pliers completely made in germany 
these things are, you know, it's it just like the rest of the entire Cobra line, a very good pair of pliers. Now, these are my favorites. I like these a lot better than the other brands offerings. I even have the Ghidorah version of this, and it's, I can tell you right now, it's not as good as this Knipex version. The teeth are nowhere near as, uh, they don't grip as nearly as well as the Knipex Cobra does. But these have that, uh, a very texturized grip that I, I come to like on Knipex pliers. I don't appreciate, I don't prefer the uh, PVC uh, shiny, glossy, plasticky PVC uh, handles that Knipex sometimes goes with, but this texturized one is exactly my favorite. In fact, on the uh, the Knipex pliers wrench video, they had that they had that PVC uh, coating, and I, I think I say in that video I don't prefer that. But the coating on these pliers are similar. It looks like the finish is similar to the snap-on. If I can get you to focus here. Might have to change some settings here. Yeah, that's a little better. But the finish on the Snap-on and the Cobra, they look to be the same type of finish. Even though this is a little darker, the, the, the type of coating looks to be very similar. And in my experience from the Knipex uh, stuff I have, the finish here doesn't really rust. It's the areas they polish or grind down that tend to rust. And you don't you don't have that, uh, the snap-on pliers don't have that phenomenon. They, if you can see here on the front and back, it is polished. It just looks like Knipex has done the uh, coating process and then come in here and polish the surface or ground the surface versus where snap-on has ground the surface previous to applying the coating or uh, performing that metal process to making it look like this. But um, it, when it comes to the teeth, I think the teeth being non-coated actually has a positive effect because it allows you to grab things better than something that is coated. The, the teeth on here are gonna be a lot sharper than something like this that has been applied a metal coating. Yeah, so. And I, I find that across like all manufacturers, whether they, if they, if they just barely, if they coat the uh, teeth, if they coat the teeth, it's, it's generally makes the teeth le less effective, which is why I think Knipex has gone, has chosen to not coat the teeth. And, but the, it, it, it comes at a trade off definitely because the teeth eventually, there's a lot of moisture in my toolbox. So the teeth, eventually uh, start to form rust. So I have to apply oil to them every once in a while to prevent that. But they are a great pair of pliers. And I think in function, you can go ahead, you see how easy that was to adjust that plier. I mean, you couldn't, you can't really get super specific or super uh, critical when it comes to one hand, but you can get the job done with one hand versus a uh, tongue and groove, which, you know, because of the snap on having that tongue and groove, sometimes you, you get it in the wrong spot and it won't want to close on you. So I believe in function, I definitely like the Cobras better. So if it was up to me, if I was choosing between the two, I would definitely choose the Knipex Cobras. So the final pair of pliers Mr. Uh, Blind Bat sent to me is this Cornwell CCL 424. Now, if I'm not to be mistaken, the Cornwell CCL pliers, that would stand for uh, Cornwell Channel Lock <laughs> pliers. But uh, I think all their all the CCL pliers are made by Channel Lock in America, of course, but Cornwell doesn't make pliers. So the other the other uh, uh, series of pliers Cornwell has is what the CPL, I think, and that stands for Cornwell pliers, which those pliers are made in Taiwan by an unknown manufacturer. But these are as well a pair of tongue and groove pliers. 
but these I have seen many times before. They are usually marketed as ignition pliers and they're really very slender, very thin, these pliers are. But they are a quality pair of pliers. I do appreciate that everything here is a, a quality uh, tool. It's not, you know, something remarkably inexpensive. But these things, I think I've seen them in Sears, uh, branded as Craftsman, with a thicker texturized grip and they called them ignition pliers. So these things, I, I I like these a lot better than a snap on. And I don't know, I, I think it's because they don't spring open. I'm not too fond of them automatically opening. I like to be in control of when and when the plier opens or when it doesn't. But these are a lot easier to adjust than the snap on. Uh, tongue and groove pliers simply because they uh you can pull these up and easily close them you know with the snap-ons it's much more difficult to uh like i mean i guess it has something to do with uh at the very top there's an issue where it doesn't want to close and it's like just shy of that top so even if you get in kind of like the right position it's like <laughs> it like takes a it takes a bit to get these things to close and I don't really I'm not too too <laughs> not too fond of that thing but these are both you know quality options but if you look on the uh, finish of these these have been ground uh, very a very crude ground not you know the the metal process was not applied you can see here in the back this is black it was applied but the whole entire face of the plier was ground down and then uh laser etched versus this is stamped the product number and such stamped into this plier as well as the knipex cobra it's actually raised on the knipex cobra cobra but it's stamped on the button but these are only laser etched but the the it feels like they have a very thin clear coating on these and it's uh like straight up metal ground down but if you compare it to the thickness of this snap on and now you can see how this uh this bolt here might cause some issues during work it's just that the fastener is so so large but you can see the difference here between the metal process. This is a gunmetal gray type of finish that's applied to the whole thing, including the teeth and the uh, the uh, tongue and groove portion. Whereas this has the uh, the tongue and groove portion has a, uh, a, a, a similar parkerizing style uh, finish inside. They have ground the whole thing and Let's see. Looks like they have done the same uh, uh, black finish on the teeth. So I mean, they're they're fairly sharp. They're a little sharper than the snap-on the teeth inside these pliers. But the surface is something I always have to be aware of because in my van I have to apply clear coating, or I have to apply some oil to tools that are finished like this to keep them from rusting but i'd like to take a moment to say thank you mr blind bat for watching and sending me these this set of pliers it's a really great uh gift from you and i really do appreciate it and i also appreciate the kind words you put in the letter but that's it that's all i have for you i'll be sure to leave all the links to everything i talked about in this video in the description down below as always make sure you like comment subscribe for more videos if you like you can check out my twitter and instagram if you're interested you can also check out my kc tool coat affiliate link it's in the description thanks for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one peace
If you're still here, consider checking out my other reviews of quality hand tools.